click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, now we are going to discuss about uh, what are enzymes and how does they play a very vital role in the chemical reactions uh, in our body. So now let us understand that is what is enzyme catalysis and uh, let us understand the characteristic of enzyme catalyst. So now let us discuss about that. <music> So now let us talk about the enzyme catalyst. So they are, that is, the enzyme catalyst are homogeneous biological catalyst and uh, catalyzes the biochemical reactions in the living system. So we know that uh, we have discussed about the catalyst as well as we have also discussed about what is homogeneous and what is heterogeneous uh, catalysis. So in this case, basically we have discussed about uh, that is uh, how does uh, they play a very vital role in, in increasing the rate of reaction, but those chemical reactions, they don't take place in our body. In fact, we prepare chemicals uh, that is basically used for preparation of medicines and various uses. But now we are specifically we are talking about those catalysts which take a place or which basically participate in the chemical reaction, especially biochemical reactions that could be in our body also or that could be in a biological different kind of living organisms also. So that is basically the enzymes are the one which are basically biological catalysts and how they are playing a very vital role let us understand that also so this were something the definition which we have discussed over here and now let us understand the characteristic of the enzyme catalyst so the characteristic of enzyme catalysts are as follows so here we are going to discuss about uh, uh, those points so the first of the thing is that is uh, it is a homogeneous biological catalyst obviously uh, that is uh, this kind of catalyst they they take part in our uh, uh, biochemical reactions in our body or in the other living organisms so in this case basically the enzymes are very much uh, uh, basically very much uh, homogeneous uh, to the other reacting uh, mixtures in our body and that is how basically the reaction occurs and uh, talking about the next point and that is basically uh, they are basically large size protein molecules so obviously in our body also there are uh, various uh, types of proteins but uh, this enzymes are basically a large size protein molecules and obviously these proteins are basically uh, playing a very vital role in not only in uh, in as a building block but they are also basically they are acting like a catalyst so that they could uh, increase the rate of uh, various reactions that could be very much effective to our body and very much essential for our body or any kind of living organisms so that is what uh, the second point that i have discussed about so talking about the next point and the next point is basically that is they are a uh, large and complex structure having a high molecular mass of that is it is ranging from 10 days to 4 to 10 days to 6 amu that is atomic mass unit so they have a basically higher molecular mass uh, structure that is if we are talking about the enzymes and they are they are nothing but they are proteins and obviously proteins are having a very complex structure and this is what uh, the enzyme is and because of this complex structure only because uh, they can attract or they can basically they can make the other substrate or the other reactant to basically to attach through it and basically the various kind of biological reactions could occur and this is what i was uh, discussing about and uh, let me discuss about the next point also and that is they are highly specific in nature yes enzymes are very much highly specific in nature and uh, that is the reason that uh, in most of the catalysts that we have discussed that is in homogeneous and heterogeneous catalysts so they are not very much specific if we compare it with the enzyme catalyst for example let me discuss about here also that is how does they play a very vital role in the specificity of a particular reaction so let me discuss about that we have starch and uh, starch is the one which is basically uh, it consists of uh, it is basically a carbohydrate and uh, that is the reason suppose it can un easily undergo that is a uh, hydrolysis that is in presence of h2 so as to give a particular glucose that is n moles of glucose uh, it will give but uh, this reaction uh, can occur in presence of a catalyst also and that's the reason that we are using catalyst just as to increase the rate of reaction but since we are talking about the enzymes and uh, we are talking about the enzyme catalyst obviously they are, are very much highly specific in their nature so in this case basically uh, if we use starch along with that of h2 and with a particular catalyst like amylase in that case basically we could obtain glucose and with a very much uh, high uh, that is if with the uh, high rate of reaction we could get uh, glucose suppose if we are talking about the other uh, carbohydrate suppose if we are talking about cellulose and uh, suppose if we that is uh, if we react it with water or suppose if it undergoes hydrolysis and in that also in presence of that is amylase 
that the possible product is not obtained actually so there is no reaction that could be obtained whenever basically cellulose reacts with the uh, h2o the reason behind that is as i have said earlier also that is uh, enzymes are very highly specific in nature so this amylase is basically it is specifically it is acting so as to basically so as to break down the starch molecules uh, in presence of h2o so as to give a glucose but in the same case suppose if you are using amylase in case of that is uh, during hydrolysis of cellulose the reaction will not be obtained so that is the reason that it shows that uh, amylase are very much specific in nature so that was one of the example that i have discussed over here but there are also various examples that we are going to discuss but uh, for a while this is uh, sufficient to understand that how basically they are very much highly specific in their nature so now let me discuss about the other points also and those other points are that is an enzyme has one or more active sites uh, which act as a lock into which basically specific reactant fits so as I have discussed earlier also that is enzymes are nothing but uh, a high molecular structured protein and obviously uh, it is a very complex structure. So that is the reason that because of this uh, large structure obviously they have multiple sites or multiple active sites on which basically the substrates get attached to it and in this case the substrate or the reactants they get attached to it. And obviously we have discussed about in heterogeneous as well as in homogeneous uh, cases also that is they form a complex and during this formation of a complex obviously uh, a product could be obtained and that is what what a basically uh, an enzyme plays a very vital role and uh, in this case basically enzyme don't have a one uh, uh, active site it could have multiple active sites also and that is the reason that a particular enzyme could basically could give a multiple attachment with that of a substrate and that is how basically the product that we could obtain it will be obtained in a very uh, high amount as well as uh, it could be obtained uh, very fast also so that is what basically enzymes uh, are such an important thing to understand so this was something that i was discussing about the enzyme Enzymes and uh, let me talk about the other point also that is uh, suppose if a particular uh, multiple reaction which is possible by a particular catalyst and suppose a particular by, by a particular enzyme so obviously it is very much specific uh, that is it will choose only one reaction at a time and that is what uh, the enzymes are completely different from the other one so that is what I was uh, talking about and uh, that's it so thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have understood that is what is enzyme catalyst and how does they work so i hope you will share this video with the friends and yes don't forget to subscribe thank you so much